Lawmakers and education officials believe it's time to bring back mandatory ROTC for students. But student groups and other critics are up in arms over the proposal. Greg Gregorio has the details. 17 years ago, the ROTC program was downgraded from being part of the core college curriculum to being an optional course. That's after calls to abolish mandatory enlistment to the training course mounted following the murder of Mark Chua, a UST student who exposed the alleged anomalies in his unit. But now, the government, backed by no less than President Duterte himself, is pushing to make ROTC mandatory again, and this time for senior high school students. Senator-elect Bato de la Rosa even wants a more stringent program. Instead of the usual one-year reserve training, he wants all senior high school students to understand undergo military training for two full years. Senator Win Gachalian, who is pushing for the passage of the measure before the 17th Congress adjourns, says he is not oblivious to the controversial history of the ROTC, but he says this time it will be different. My grievance committee, uh, ang bawat skulahan para kung merong uh, pang-aabuso o problema, uh, mariresolve ako kaagad. Hindi to purely military training. Uh, meron tong disaster preparedness at discipline uh, uh, concepts no, para maging uh, mas matibay pang disiplina sa ating mga bata. In an interview with One News Agenda, he further explained that a revitalized ROTC will be more aggressive in weeding out offenders or those who will use their power or ranks to abuse others. We came up with this mechanism, it's called the Grievance Committee, that will be established in every school uh, to be... Uh, uh, composed of the Department of Education as well as the Department of National Defense. And within 30 days after investigation, the person who is found to be liable will be punished or removed from the uh, from the school. Despite these promises, Kabataan Party List Representative Sara Elago is opposing the mandatory ROTC bill. She says that at the very core lies evil. Imbis na disiplina, blind obedience, yung pagsagot o yung pagsunod ng, ng walang tanong-tanong, nangyayari pa rin yan. Hindi, pa rin ma, hindi na mabilang yung mga kaso ng mga abuso, diskriminasyon at ng korupsyon na nagpapatuloy pa rin magpasa hanggang ngayon. She adds, the government must clear the program's past issues first. Noong una, nanawagan tayo ng a review muna ng K-12 Evaluation ng NSTP, pero magpasa hanggang ngayon wala yan. The National Union of Students of the Philippines adds, mandatory training will just increase the already heavy workload of graduating senior high school students. ROTC used to be programmed for freshman and second year college students because these are believed to be the lightest years for students in terms of workload. But the Education Department argues that the age bracket of current junior and senior high school students is the same as college freshmen who underwent ROTC before K-12 was implemented. What the proponents have uh, looked into is not the, bird, the burden that the seniors are uh, having during this uh, grade 11 and 12 or the lightness of the load that we have when we were first and second years. They were in the same... What they have... Uh, what they have uh, looked into is that this same group, the seniors now, the grades 11 and 12 now, are also the same uh, freshmen that uh, we were before when we were first and second years. Senator Gatchalian adds that he is prepared to answer other clarifications about the bill in question. Um, definitely maraming clarification uh, na mangyayari, no? Kasi da dahil nga before ay uh, ginawa tong optional, but ibabalik na yun sa mandatory. So maraming uh, magiging clarificatory questions ang ating mga kasamahan. For News 5, Greg Gregorio, We Are One News.